So do you want to send push notification in your Android app? In this video, we'll learn how to integrate Firebase cloud messaging and send real-time push messages, whether your app is running or not. You'll also learn how to request permission for Android 13 and above. Let's get started. Firebase cloud messaging is part of Google's Firebase platform. When you send a message, Firebase adds like a middleman and it takes the payload, delivers it to your device via Google service. It allows you to reliably send messages at no cost. It works with all platforms that Firebase supports. So what do you use the cloud messaging for? You can use it to send messages that are useful in a variety of scenarios. For example, sending notification to app users so they can engage in app content such as chat messages from friends. Secondly, you can also use it to sync app in the background so it is always up to date when your user opens it. And WhatsApp uses this a lot. So let's see how we can implement it in our project. First, you need to connect your Android project to Firebase. And if you are not sure how to connect your app to Firebase, check my previous video where I covered step by step using the Firebase Assistant. So open the Firebase Assistant. From the Firebase Assistant panel, look for Cloud Messaging and then click on Setup Firebase Cloud Messaging. Click Connect to Firebase. So this opens your default browser and takes you to the Firebase console. Create a new project. Continue. Continue. Select default account and then create a new project. Click on continue. Click on connect. So now your project is connected to Firebase successfully. Now add the FCM to your project. Accept changes. So this gives your app the ability to communicate with Firebase servers and listen for messages from them. Now the Firebase cloud messaging library has been added to your project. I prefer to use the Firebase build of material. So this one allows you to specify just one version for all the Firebase library. So to do that, I'm going to add the bill of material to my project. So you open the Gradle, add the bill of materials. And then put this one also in brackets. Now you can specify the cloud messaging this way. So you can comment out this one. So we can now sync the project. All right, now it is done. Next, to receive FCM messages, we need to extend a special service called Firebase Messaging Service. Think of it like your app's personal delivery guy, like someone from SpeedApp or DHL. Firebase delivers the message and this service is the one that receives it and decides what to do with it whether to show a notification, update the UI, or silently handle some logic. So to do that, just create a new Kotlin file. So I'll name my, my messaging service. So this class will extend the Firebase messaging service. So inside this class, you need to override or message receive function in order to display the notification to your user even when your app is in the foreground there are two ways a message arrive in this function the first one is notification which is a simple title and message it is meant for display and then the second one is a key value pair that you can use to do custom logic like navigating to a specific screen when the notification arrives. So you can check the kind of message that arrives and then the action to take. So first, let's check for notification, which is the first type of message that arrives. So to check, we have... So if it's notification, we want to show the notification. So now let's check whether it contains data payload. So you want to handle the data message. So click on this to create a new function. And then inside the function, just log a message. 
So let's create this tag outside the class. So now let's handle the notification. All right, so this is how you handle the notification. So this one allow the notification to show even when the app is running or not. You can also override a new token function. This helps you to keep record of the most up-to-date FCM token. We will just lock the token here. You need to update this at the back end. So now that you have your service ready, register it in your manifest file. So open your manifest. So come below the activity tag and then open a new tag called service tag. So you specify this new service. Set export to false. Inside the service tag, you specify the messaging event filter and then action as messaging events. This tells Android that our service wants to receive Firebase messages whenever they arrive. From now on, your app is ready to use the FCM. However, for Android devices running on Android 13 and higher, there is a new runtime permission for showing notification. The first step to handle this new runtime permission is to add the post notification constant to your manifest. So you require the internet permission and then post notification. The next thing is to show a, a dialog asking the user to grant the notification permission to their app. So to do that, you come here and create a new file for the dialog. So here we'll just create a simple compose function to seek permission for the application. So we'll call it request. So you have to add the permission library. So you can copy this, add it to your Gradle dependencies. So now saying all right so we use this to request for permission now let's go back to our main activity to be able to send a text message to our device first we need to have access to the device token as you need it to input information on your fcm dashboard so to get your token you create a new function and then call it there so you can call a function called retrieve retrieve token and then click to create this function. So to retrieve the token, just call Firebase Firebase and then select the one with the KT KT and then you call messaging call token to get a token. So we just want to add a listener to ensure if the tax is successful, then we log the token. So this function will retrieve the token for us to use in our console. Finally, let's apply the permission we've created. Let's modify the content of this greeting. So first of all, we just want to check if it is open dialog.
key one equal to unit so now if notification permission is granted and then the view version So now that we ask the permission, then we can create a view. So I'll use the column. So this will put the whole contents in the center. Now that we have this to test, first we have to run it and get our token. So click on run. So now the application has run. Come to the log cards and look for FCM token. And this is his refresh token. So you can copy the token. Okay, so that's what you use on the console to send your notification. So come to the console and then look for cloud messaging. This is it, cloud messaging. So select Create your first campaign and then select file based notification. Create. Now, this is the message dashboard. So, it is only the test that is required. The title and the other ones are optional. So, from here, you can enter your title and say something like new message. Okay. Then we can say hello. We can say something like hello world. Click on send test message. So here you'll be required to enter the token. So once you copy it and then you paste it here, you click on this plus icon and then you click test. And that's it. And when you wait for a while, okay, so it limits notification has arrived that's a new message hello world from our application and when you click on it it will open your app so we'll close the application and then test it again so i'll come to new message so i'll change the title to new video then here i'll change the body to new video from maui channel And that's it. So when you come here and click on test, you select this token and then you click on test. Okay. So once again, the message has arrived. Our app is in the background, but it is still, the message still came. And this is it. New video, new video from Maoli channel. And that's it. You just add a real-time push notification to your Jetpack Compose application with Firebase cloud messaging. If you found this helpful, like the video, subscribe, drop your question in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.